lasted 20 years, the Dragonite will come. The land is soaked in blood and tears, the Dragonites will come. Find the sea winged egg of the deepest blue, wings of the night shall come to you. The largest egg in the mountain high will give you the wings of the sky. For wings of earth search through the mud, for an egg the color of dragon's blood. Hidden all in the little queens, the sending egg awaits unseen. Three queens who blast their blaze and burn, two shall die and one shall learn. If she bows to a fate that is stronger and higher, she will have the power of wings of fire. Five eggs hatch the brightest night, five dragons born to end the fight. Darkness will rise to bring the light. The dragons are coming. Hello, my name is Dylan, and today I'm going to be talking to you about my book, Wings of Fire, The Dragon and Prophecy, written by Tita Sutherland. She lives in Massachusetts, and she was a two-day champion on Jeopardy. She lives, um, she lives with her two sons and her husband and a very patient dog, and the char there are five main characters in my book. Five main characters are, I'm going to tell you in a second, they all live in, they all live in Prethia, and the land of Prethia looks like a dragon, and it's filled with dragons. And I'm going to tell you about the main character, Clay. Clay is a mudling. He's very strong, but he's not this one. And he's very protective of his friends. And not many dragons can stop him because most dragons' first attack is breathing fire, but he's fireproof. And he's technically friends with his enemies because one of his friends, which I'll get to later, is a water sea wing, and he's supposed to be enemies with them, but since they were growing up together, that was trying to show that they don't need to be enemies. They can be friends. But that's about Clay, some about Clay. And now, Sunny. Sunny is a sandwing. She's very shy. She's very nice. But she can poison her enemies like a scorpion. And she can survive a long time without water. Like a camp. Now it's Glory. Glory is a rainwing. Glory. <coughs> She constantly shifts colors like birds of paradise, usually, and she can camouflage her scales to blend in like a chameleon. And she's not really nice to her friend. She's very sarcastic. And now my favorite, the Nightwings. This Nightwing is called Starflight. Starflight is a Nightwing. He's very nervous, and he can read minds. So if you don't like him, make sure you don't say it in your head. <laughs> Pretty much just like you're saying it out loud. And on the underside of his wings, he has, it looks like a night sky. So if he was flying around at night, they'd be hard to see. And you can also foretell the future. So if you really have a, re I have a really bad disease, you might want to go to him to see what happens after that. Now Tsunami, which I men mentioned earlier, she's a really good fighter and really tough. She can breathe underwater, and that's what the kingdom is. She's very violent. She can create huge waves with one splash of her tail, like her name, Tsunami with one splash. Um, and now for my plot. The plot of this book, there's been a war raging for not one, not two, not even ten years. It's been raging for twenty years. Dragons have been hating each other and, well, you know, hurting each other. And five dragons are born to try and stop this war. And the story is based around these five dragons trying to decide if they want to follow the prophecy or if they're going to be forced to fight. And now my favorite part, which I have a diorama here, this is the Battle Arena. And the reason why I like it is because it's very action-y. And um, it has a lot of a story in it. I'm not going to tell you what's been happening. I'm giving way too much. But this is Clay. This is his enemy. And can everybody see that guy right down there is covering his eyes a little bit? You see him? Or that. The lower you are is the lore of class. Even though you get the better seats, it still doesn't mean anything. If you have that seat, that means if somebody goes, smash. She, the Queen Scarlet up here, she's all rich and all like, uh-huh, I don't care about him. And if they're down, if all these people are lower class, but they get food at least, like he only gets like a hot dog and he gets popcorn. She gets like steak and baked potatoes and chicken wings, and she doesn't really care about her people. She's more of a selfish queen, and if they're rich, then she wants their money. That's pretty much it. 
and the and if Clay loses this, then his friends will have to battle and they'll never be free. If he wins and he beats this man <coughs> over here, and if he goes like that, then then he gets to he's free. Or is he? And his and his friends are free. Or are they? And now for my ending. You want to hear more, but you can't. Um, will they stop the war, or are they going to destroy the world? Who, who here likes adventure? Raise your hand. Okay, good. Who here likes dragons? Raise your hand. Okay, good. So, if you like both of those things, I recommend this. I recommend this book. And... Um, and now I'm going to read you a little bit about this part in my book. Um, it wasn't until Clay felt the sand underneath his scales and he heard the roaring of the dragons in the stand that he hadn't quite thought this plan through. He had no idea his fighting skills would be against an unknown dragon. Um, his mind went blank as they dropped the hissing ice wing onto the ground on the opposite of him. Do you know anything about the ice wings? That was a little bit about my book, and that's all. Goodbye.